Devulcanization is a process that aims to break down the cross-linked structure of vulcanized rubber to restore its original properties, such as elasticity and plasticity, so that it can be reused as a raw material. Devulcanization is crucial in tire recycling, as tires are made of complex materials such as steel, cord, natural and synthetic rubber, and additives. However, devulcanization of tires is challenging due to the complex composition and the level of cross-linking of the vulcanized rubber. The cross-linking process, which was developed by Charles Goodyear in the mid-19th century, involves adding sulfur to the natural rubber to make it more durable and resistant to heat and wear. The resulting cross-linked rubber, known as vulcanized rubber, is highly resistant to degradation and cannot be easily broken down. Several approaches have been developed to achieve devulcanization of tires, including chemical, thermal, and mechanical methods. Chemical methods involve the use of various chemical agents, such as solvents and reactive chemicals, to break down the cross-linked structure of the vulcanized rubber. Thermal methods use high temperatures to break down the vulcanized rubber, while mechanical methods involve the use of mechanical shear forces to break down the rubber. Some of the challenges associated with devulcanization of tires include the need for high energy input, the difficulty in obtaining a high yield of devulcanized material, and the difficulty in controlling the properties of the devulcanized material. Despite these challenges, there is growing interest in devulcanization as a means of increasing the value of scrap tire materials and reducing waste. In conclusion, devulcanization is a promising approach to tire recycling, but it requires further research and development to achieve efficient and effective results. With continued research and investment in this area, devulcanization has the potential to play a significant role in promoting the circular economy and reducing waste.